Many people like the sound of modular, especially for some weird effects and percussion kind of things to spice up a raw minimal track. But let's be honest, going modular is a very steep learning curve and uh, it's difficult. So I challenged myself the other day by trying to emulate a percussion modul modular recording from a modular sample pack with mainly Ableton Live stock plugins and a Max4 Live device. So here's what I came up with. So this one is from the sample pack. So if you want to learn how it was made, keep watching, this video is for you. Hey friends, Ivano here from roughinstudio.com. Okay, so I talked about a similar concept in last week's video where we assigned LFOs to different buttons and triggered them quite randomly, right? So for this video we follow a very similar approach and we also spice it up with some Ableton Live stock plugins. So let's dive in into the key elements that we can use to create such modular percussion sounds inside Ableton Live. And also a little side note here, if you want to download my soft but snappy Roman Mo Ableton Live kick template, go and grab it for free, it's my gift for you. It's inspired by a lot of Romanian producers where they use soft but snappy kicks that I like to say. They can be soft, snappy, but they also can be long, deep, rolling, whatever you like. It's highly adjustable. It's an Ableton Live template, a little template. And uh, if you want that, click the link below and you can get it for free if you like. And there's also a sample video where you can see it in action or build it actually by yourself if you prefer that. So yeah, now let's dive in into the actual content. Let's play the track quickly. Okay, the first thing in the chain that I did was really a mono sequencer. Um, I mentioned this in last week's video, I guess, or a couple of weeks ago. Basically, for those modular kind of sounds, I like to think in randomness. So we assign different random um, buttons to an LFO and then we randomize it, right? So here in this sample really there are just random sounds and i can hear some noise um, i can hear some tonal stuff and i thought okay how can i make that um, with some tools maybe max for life devices and also some um, devices from Ableton Live itself, aka stock plugins. So, first thing, mono sequencer. Mono sequencer. I think this is in the essential pack. Um, I'm using Live 
10 and I think it's already in there now this is the first thing we use that to trigger and really I, I use random randomize button that's my best friend and then uh, pitch and whatever Yeah, so you get the idea. But what really makes the sound is um, rulers. I mentioned this a couple of times. Uh, previously, I was probably mentioning mentioning it for using it for bass lines. But basically, what rulers is it's a it's a emulation of a Euro rack module called plates from mutable instruments, and it's a macro oscillator. So it has different oscillators modes built in and you can see virtual analog wave shaping fm and so on and bass drum model string whatever and all those create different sounds actually let's make one from scratch let's try that let's make it hands on here okay mono sequencer and then I put in a rulers and the building blocks we use is basically mono sequencer rulers and then LFO for the randomness mm, this one maybe okay now we have the main building blocks to create such a, a sound okay now what I like to use is uh, command G group that and then I go to chain and now I make duplication of that rulers Mm, command T a couple of times maybe four times to create different layers now um, let's see let's play that you can see they play all at the same time that's the problem we have right now so I select all and I go to chain and we have a little bar here now let's take it and drop it all the way up and then I select all again and then I select distribute range equally so now what we can do is we can select the different layers so let's play that to do is I like to automate that the, the we do that random maybe a little bit faster and now you can see randomly we, s we choose randomly which layer is played with this LFO right so now let's let's create some sounds here. And within each layer test which parameters I want to randomize again on each layer I use the LFO and then again the same process
nice buttons maybe we can use harmonics I don't know I just randomly do that maybe frequency Has different modes here. Bass drum maybe for some kind of birdie sounds, I don't know. And you can see how I do that. I just randomly choose parameters here particle maybe or string let's let's test string i don't like all of the sounds to be honest in there but just to show you how i would make it and then i would spice it up with some effects put a, a, a compressor on it because we have some yeah, kind of dynamic stuff going on to tame it a little bit um, but the main idea hopefully you you see how I will make that basically the main ingredients mono sequencer then uh, rulers LFO and then some effects on it I used corpus resonator and the grain delay Sounds also interesting. 
could even uh, automate that maybe let's do that why not Probably record it to an uh, audio channel and then uh, maybe even cut out or using the clip volume. Yeah, that's how I would do it. And then we have audio here, and then you can simply go into envelopes clip. And then, if you want to, just muting some parts. Use an EQ here to cut out some some lows. compare both again this is what we just made this one is from the sample pack our version here
yeah that's it i hope you like it and uh, sum it up quickly um, main ingredients monosequencer monosequencer <laughs> as much as randomness as you like number two different layers of uh, sound source i picked uh, rulos because it has different modes modes in it but you can for sure also just pick a different wavetable um, presets maybe that would probably also work and then randomize um, some stuff in there i uh, haven't really tested that but maybe it's worth uh, checking it checking out or testing it maybe i will experiment with that as well coming up with some interesting sounds maybe and then really spice it up with some stock plugins um, if you have other effects use those if you like and one little note here if you haven't downloaded my soft but snappy Ron Mimo Ableton Live Kick uh, it's not in this project but it's very similar to this one actually this one is not as good as the, as the other one because it doesn't show the exact pitch information it just shows the frequency but here's a little example and it's highly adjustable so if you want a similar kick like this a template go and download it for free under the link below uh, let's quickly compare it just an example So yeah, where's the sound coming from? So yeah, that's it. Uh, as you can see, it's possible to create a very similar vibe, in my opinion, with just some creativity, some limitation actually, um, to create uh, some modular stuff inside Ableton Live. And again, the main concept is uh, a sequencer um some layers and then we need some random randomness to select in between those layers and then we use some effects and also some randomness if you like and then you get some interesting modular randomness inside ableton live if you like that so now it's your turn how we how can you make such things i recommend maybe buy rulers rulers it's a great investment and it's really cheap honestly and use a sequencer maybe mono sequencer if you already have it um, it's great i used uh, mdd snake in the past it's also great it's very simple to use and it also works very fine but for such things i would go with the mono sequencer maybe and then really use the randomness and then pick a few effects and go experiment and can you do that i think so it's really easy as you could see if i can do it you can do it by far right and uh, yeah with the bare minimum again you can create modular kind of sounds and um, with the minimal sets of tools so yeah let's make some music thanks again for your time thanks for watching hope to see you in another video cheers <laughs>